Hey everyone, it's Anne here from English Valley Cafe. Today in this video, we're going to talk about is there a difference between using house and home? This is a question that I got asked from a student of mine. Yes, there is a slight difference uh, in the meaning of the word or the connotation meaning of the word. So today in this video, we're going to talk about them and I'll share with you some examples of when we use house and when we use home. Um, but before we get into it, I do want to say that there are some situations where both can be used. All right, so first we're going to start off by talking about house. Now house is kind of like the general term or the word that we will use to refer to like the physical building. So for example, you could say, hey, let's go to Mandy's house or their house is huge. Okay, so here we're referring to that physical building um, of the house. Or let's say you're walking and you pass by a house and you might tell somebody, hey, look at that house. Or maybe you want to be a homeowner. You're looking for a new house to buy um, and you might say, I'm house hunting. I'm house hunting. So house hunting means that you are looking uh, to purchase a new home. In these examples, we're referring to like the physical building. So we use the word house. Now let's talk about home. When do we use the word home? Um, home usually is referring to the place where family lives. So it could be a house. It could be a condo, it could be an apartment or a flat, or maybe you're going camping. You're in the outdoors for a few days. So your home might be a tent. Okay, so um, it's referring to the place where family lives and usually there's that emotional connection to it. So here are some examples of home. I could say, I got home at four o'clock this morning. Or what time are you coming home today? or we like to eat at home. And there's also this expression that we like to use, home sweet home, right? It's that emotional connection that we have to this uh, place where our family lives together. So home sweet home. Now I'd like to share with you a few common expressions that we use with the word home and house um, that you might hear in daily conversation. So the first one is, it's on the house. And this just means that something at the restaurant is for free. We all love free stuff, right? Um, so sometimes when you order a meal, something might come with it for free. So it's on the house. Or maybe the waiter or waitress or the manager at that restaurant is really generous and they like to give uh, maybe a dessert or like an appetizer plate to their customers for free. And they might say, oh, this is on the house. Okay, it's on the house. The next expression is make yourself at home. Make yourself at home. And this is a very common expression that you might use as a host. Uh, when someone comes to your house, when a guest comes to your house, you might say to them, hey, make yourself at home. That means be comfortable, treat my house like it's your house. Okay, make yourself at home. And the third expression is it's a full house. It's a full house. And this means that usually at a theater or a concert or some kind of big event where all the seats are taken, they're filled, okay? All the tickets are sold out. We might say, oh, it's a full house. So I remember one time I attended a play and I remember all the seats in the theater were filled and the um, MC was saying, oh, we have a full house tonight. We have a full house tonight. And that means that it's crowded. Okay? The theater is packed with people and all the seats are filled. All right, hope you find this video useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're enjoying the video here, don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell notification so you get notified when I upload new lessons every week. Thank you so much for joining me today for this video and I will see you in the next video. Take care.